Chapter 16 One day Samson went to the Philistine city of Geza and spent the night with a prostitute. Word soon spread that Samson was there, so the men of Geza gathered together and waited all night at the city gates. They kept quiet during the night, saying to themselves, When the light of morning comes, we will kill him. But Samson stayed in bed only until midnight. Then he got up, took hold of the city gates with its two posts, and lifted them, bar and all, right out of the ground. He put them on his shoulders and carried them all the way to the top of the hill across from Hebron. Later, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah who lived in the Valley of Sorek. The leaders of the Philistines went to her and said, Find out from Samson what makes him so strong, and how he can be overpowered and tied up securely. Then each of us will give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Please, tell me what makes you so strong, and what it would take to tie you up securely. Samson replied, If I am tied up with seven new bowstrings that have not yet been dried, I will be as weak as anyone else. So the Philistine leaders brought Delilah seven new bowstrings, and she tied Samson up with them. She had hidden some men in one of the rooms of her house, and she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson snapped the bowstrings as if they were string that had been burned in a fire. So the secret of his strength was not discovered. Afterward, Delilah said to him, You made fun of me and told me a lie. Now, please tell me, how can you be tied up securely? Samson replied, If I am tied up with brand new ropes that have never been used, I will be as weak as anyone else. So Delilah took new ropes and tied him up with them. The men were hiding in the room as before, and again Delilah cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson snapped the ropes from his arms as if they were thread. Then Delilah said, You have been making fun of me and telling me lies. Won't you please tell me how you can be tied up securely? Samson replied, If you weave the seven braids of my hair into the fabric on your loom and tighten it with the loom shuttle, I will be as weak as anyone else. So while he slept, Delilah wove the seven braids of his hair into the fabric and tightened it with the loom shuttle. Again she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. But Samson woke up, pulled back the loom shuttle, and yanked his hair away from the loom and the fabric. Then Delilah pouted, How can you say you love me when you don't confide in me? You've made fun of me three times now, and you still haven't told me what makes you so strong. So day after day she nagged him until he couldn't stand it any longer. Finally, Samson told her his secret. My hair has never been cut, he confessed, for I was dedicated to God as a Nazarite from birth. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become as weak as anyone else. Delilah realized he had finally told her the truth, so she sent for the Philistine leaders. Come back one more time, she said. For he has told me everything. So the Philistine leaders returned and brought the money with them. Delilah lulled Samson to sleep with his head in her lap, and she called in a man to shave off his hair, making his capture certain, and his strength left him. Then she cried out, Samson, the Philistines have come to capture you. When he woke up, he thought, I will do as before and shake myself free. But he didn't realize the Lord had left him. So the Philistines captured him and gouged out his eyes. They took him to Geza, where he was bound with bronze chains and made to grind grain in the prison. But before long, his hair began to grow back. The Philistine leaders held a great festival, offering sacrifices and praising their god, Dagon. They said, Our god has given us victory over our enemy, Samson. When the people saw him, they praised their god, saying, our God has delivered our enemy to us. The one who killed so many of us is now in our power. Half drunk by now, the people demanded, Bring out Samson so he can perform for us. So he was brought from the prison and made to stand at the center of the temple between the two pillars supporting the roof. Samson said to the servant who was leading him by the hand, Place my hands against the two pillars. I want to rest against them. The temple was completely filled with people. All the Philistine leaders were there, and there were about 3,000 on the roof who were watching Samson and making fun of him. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, remember me again. O oh God, please 
strengthen me one more time, so that I may pay back the Philistines for the loss of my eyes. Then Samson put his hands on the center pillars of the temple and pushed against them with all his might. Let me die with the Philistines, he prayed. And the temple crashed down on the Philistine leaders and all the people. So he killed more people when he died than he had during his entire lifetime. Later his brothers and other relatives went down to get his body. They took him back home and buried him between Zorah and Eshtol, where his father Manoah was buried. Samson had been Israel's judge for twenty years.